Jordan Zimmerman, he has seven hits and 25 tries. He's doubled off him five times. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Bonifacio's under it. Makes the play one away. Now batting. Second baseman. Nick Madrigal. Up next for Chicago, Nick Madrigal. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Bonifacio's under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for the White Sox, the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Ready now for the White Sox, Jose Abreu. He's two for three and looking for more here. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground to third. On to first, and can you believe it? A three-pitch inning, and just like that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the White Sox, but they hold a nine-to-nothing lead. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Pitch is popped up. Abreu in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs oh, until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't oh, needed there. many of his secondary pitches so far oh, on this one and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. So now to the plate Austin Romine. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1. He popped out in his first trip. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Again, he sends it out of play. One out, nobody on. Got him as he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. In now, Victor Reyes. Yes, he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The windup and the 0 1.
and he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning down in order go the Tigers they're looking up at a nine nothing deficit. Seventh inning ready to roll and up next the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is drilled, but right into the shift. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next to Chicago, the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Stepping up now, Yasmani Grandal. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And it's gone into the front row of bushes. So it's a solo shot to dead center number 33 on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Yeah Matty V and hey you don't see this very often d -Row. A lot of runs scored and a lot of home runs. This is a big ballpark here, Comerica Ballpark in Detroit. Yeah, Dan, it's interesting. You walk in, and at first glance, Comerica Park doesn't look like it plays that small. But then you do the advanced stats on it. A lot of guys going deep in this yard. Here's the pitch. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. Gone. Back to back jacks on back to back pitches. A solo home run for Yohan Moncada. His third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball You're equivalent a of a hat trick. And that's now, awfully hard to do. Tyler Alexander comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Stepping in now, Luis Robert. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Now that designated hitter, Leore Garcia. Striding forward now is the DH, Leore Garcia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Reyes will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So two runs come across here both coming via the solo home run on now to the bottom of inning number seven White Sox on top 11 to nothing. In now Harold Castro he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Hey it's really hard to pitch a gem and what helps this guy's first pitch strike percentage how about 100 percent can't get any better than that. Looking to send him packing again. Lifted in the air out to center field. Robert is right there, one down. 
So he's now still got his shutout working Baylor. here in the seventh. Baylor. And with that in mind, we Baylor. check out the Baylor. league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jimer Candelario. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jimenez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The batter, number eight, second baseman, got us there. Go! And next it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. A hit in two tries so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now another 0-2. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. set for the start of the inning and coming forward the veteran outfielder Gerard Dyson here comes the first pitch line drive and that's a base hit in the center field so their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. At the plate, Tim Anderson as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. One there, on to first to complete the double play. The batter of a really good pitch from the pitcher right there. Down in the zone, hits on top of it, induces the ground ball double play. Ready for another shot now. Nick Madrigal. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way line drive to center field so he'll add one to his total as that falls in he's got three hits in this one so that means Jose Abreu will come to the plate here this guy came into today absolutely on fire and nothing has changed he looks seriously hitterish at the dish right now that's his third knock of the game to the plate now Jose Abreu as he'll send a ground ball down to third will go to scope at second for the force out and that ends the inning so no runs here on two base hits no errors and one man left on not too many more shots left home half of the eighth coming up it's the White Sox 11 and the Tigers nothing now at the plate number 49 we're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound 
Well, I've been very Jordan impressed Jordan. with how the starter's going Number about his business, Jordan. Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. First offering on its way. Aye. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one now, off. Man, and with that in mind, we take a look at the PK. league leaders in complete Whoa. games. And as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. Now with the plate, C.J. Crone. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, the left fielder, Jacoby Jones. Stepping in, Jacoby Jones. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall and with that the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Gregory Soto comes on to work now and he's their usual closer but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah and this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Soto is a guy that you'll notice attacks hitters with a high velocity slider. Not the old sweeper. He really fires it in there and snaps off big numbers. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys are. Now, meanwhile here, this ball's hit fairly well down that left field line, and it's going to stay fair. It's a home run. It's a solo home run for Eloy Jimenez. So his remarkable season continues as the blowout continues. Yosmani Grandal. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. He's around first, heading for two. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. 
Johan Moncada will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. From the stretch. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. Standing in now, Luis Robert popped him up. Crone is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the White Sox, the designated hitter, Leori Garcia. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Leori Garcia. And they're runners at the corners now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. White Sox pick up just the one. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the White Sox 12 and the Tigers nothing. Ready once again, Jorge Bonifacio starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Oh, and one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Abreu is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Austin Roma. Now batting Austin Romine. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Abreu is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Fielder, Victor Reyes. So the lineup flips over and digging in Victor Reyes. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah Matt they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Hit sharply on the ground. Taken in by Abreu. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been? So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be? That's baseball for you. 12 nothing the rather convincing shutout final score Chicago with their 97th win tops in the division Dane Dunning gets to that magic number 20 wins on the season as he tosses a complete game one hitter Tarek Skubal struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show time of the ball game three hours and 22 minutes
thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.